boom, boom, boom. Let's do this. All right, my friends, we are rolling. How you doing, brother? I'm good. Let's do this. Let's do it. Do it. All right, cheers. Cheers. Thank you for coming. It's another lovely day. Thank you for having me. Let's do it. All right, guys. Let's do it. Oh, there's a camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, there's even a camera. Mm -hmm. You're All professional. Hooked All hooked up. All right. Stop. Welcome to Pulling Focus Podcast. I am your host, Nate Gresham, and a very special guest we have. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, man, it has been, well, we've been trying this for a while, but yeah. I saw you not too long ago, probably like a week or so, for um, Joe Ross's birthday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and shout out Good to Joe time. Ross. And Love you, Jojo. Every time we get together, one thing that's, no matter what happens, we're always talking about this industry, film, mm -hmm. TV, all stuff. Absolutely, stuff. yeah. But the big one that I always, most important thing that I always come back with every time I have a conversation with you is the positivity and the determination and just the hope and dreaming. It's, it's all there and it's something we share, but I, I with you it's always a, a leaving note. Like I'll walk away and think, he always makes me wow. inspired. Again, to, you know, throw more into it. Yeah. So it's just, it takes a lot of energy, but thank you, thank you. you do bring it out in a lot of people around you and uh, it's just something that I've always admired. So. Wow, I think uh, the mindset in which we go into our lives is is so important Absolutely. you know and for us in particular like you said you and I and our group of friends we're all in the entertainment industry and uh, bro it's a it's a soul-sucking industry you it's know tough. like we, we put all our dreams into it uh, aspirations and pursuing it we sacrifice so many things that people don't know whether no it's family time uh, good paying jobs Absolutely. Time um, in general, just time, period. Just yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a sacrifice. Our yeah. our life is full of sacrifice, and All yeah, like once we make it and, and you're there, like yeah, there there are a lot of rewards, but a lot of people don't see the sacrifice. So the only thing we can control, right, is our attitude. Our attitude is and it's it's a hard thing for a lot of us because yeah. it's just one of those things where your, your rejection level is so high and your acceptance level is so low that there's only a, a lot of work to get to that those bars to shift. It's, it's, it's crazy. the hardest work, and, yeah. and that's why like this, this industry is, is not just about having the know-how of things or having the talent of things. There is, if you want to put it, a certain amount of luck that you need in this. Um, it's that, it's, that's the famous saying is it's uh, hard work and preparation, uh, preparation yeah. is luck. Yeah, yeah. That's the way yeah, it works. It's, it's being ready for when the opportunity is given. And the, you always, I'm, I'm in a position where I'm always feeling like, I'm wasting time not working on something. Yeah. So, because uh, I have so many things, so different different projects I could be putting effort towards, but then again, I, if I can totally wear myself out and not have any productivity because I'm working on something but I have no energy to work on. Yeah. It. So yeah. that's a double-edged sword. It really is. Oh, it absolutely is. Yeah. But it's it's uh, it kind of like you said that it's you have to have that sort of determination in this industry. Yeah. Like you you can't come into this half-assed. I, I remember when I was first moving out here 15 years ago from Miami, you know, and I would talk to other actors and, oh, yeah, I'm going to give myself a, a year in L.A. Yeah. or two years in L.A. And, and I never understood that because, I mean, I, 
I understand the time is limited, obviously. But if you love something, then you just got to... There's no half-assing it. You, there isn't. And it's you got a persistence. Yeah. It you wears down fight. that resistance. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's super true. If, if it, I think it was Harrison Ford, that, like, or one of those guys, that, like, his quote was, what, they asked him, how did you make? And he said, I stayed a day longer than the next guy. Yeah. Because that's the reality. Today in, in L.A., I don't know how many actors left. Yep. How many writers left? How many directors left? But we're still here. Yeah. You it's know? Like chopping at the wood. Turning and it is chopping. Fall. Like, you, you can't get complacent. You got to keep working, planting seeds. And what's funny, too, is, and, and you've had this experience, I know, because we talked about it, but it's that the little bit of step forward is so monumental. It's crucial. Despite the fact that it's such a tiny little insignificant yeah. step in the grand scheme of things, potentially. Right. But... In the moment, you've been working, you know, in the trenches for so long that just picking your head up above and seeing there's actually a little, you've gotten a little bit farther down the road. I mean, it's it's literally like it's like a, an addiction. Like, oh, absolutely, <laughs> it, it absolutely is. It's, it's and you have crack. to recognize that, man. Like, yeah. like you're saying, like for us, I think a lot, a lot of the journey is taking some uh, positive energy or pride in those little mm -hmm. small, the smallest of victories. Yep. You know, even if it's a one-liner. Yeah. Or, you know, you, you sold a commercial instead of you, your film or whatever, whatever it, is, it is. Like Those little victories to me, right, let me know or I use them as like, all right, the universe is talking to me and I'm on the right path. Yeah. You know, I'm suffering. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm on the right path. And, it, and, and you get them from those little those victories. Those little nuggets. Those little nuggets yeah. that, that you're on a set. Uh, you know, you're, you're doing a film with friends and you yeah. get to be on set with friends and you, you, you believe in the project and the energy. Yep. That's what fucking 100%. motivates you. You know, it's not, it's not, I don't know, it's changed. Like, I'm a bit older, I'm 43, you know, and, and I didn't get into this business because I want people to know me, yep. because I want money. That's uh, I got a into big misconception. Is more, more now than ever. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I mean, because there, there's fame all sorts of ways. Yeah. Like, I can go on Instagram and find people who have no talent whatsoever, and in their world and that... That network, they're hugely popular. Right. So fame is, is a little more fickle, but also a little bit easier to get to depending on which way you go. Where on the creative side and the, the talented side, it's a little bit more of a struggle, I would say. Absolutely. So it's like, because there's a lot of people doing the same thing we're trying to do. Right, but so, uh, we're, we're trying to do it. I'm not trying to pimp or whore right. myself out. Like, I, I love know. acting and I love storytelling. That's yep. what I love. Uh, it's huge. For it's me, huge. honestly, like, I. I want to play roles and, and I walk out and people don't even know who the... F what? That was yeah. you? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's what I want. Yep. I'm, the I'm, the, I'm the same vein. Like, for me, I, I don't want to be a famous director or a famous writer or a famous... I want to be the guy that you know gets quality work done. Yeah. And it, not walk the red carpet to get attention. He's walking the red carpet because everyone wants him to be there because they want to network with him. That's kind of the level yeah. I want to get to. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, it's just one of those worlds. Well, let's take a step back. And let's talk about who you are. <laughs> well, I am. It was a mighty question. Yeah, it's always a tough one. A little bit worried back. Um, my and actually, I was born in Venezuela. Um, we were lucky enough that, that my father, when he was young, fifteen, went to Oklahoma State University. Wow. Learned English, and because of that, his company brought him to the states in 1980. I was six years old, and that's when me and my brother and my family moved moved here no, to the states. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lived in uh, La Plaza, Louisiana, initially. Then we moved to New Orleans. Uh, my father was in shipping, and then we moved to Texas, gotcha. Florida, everywhere. Uh, both my parents come from artistic families. Uh, my father's side musically, my mother's side uh, written. Yeah, uh, writers, painters, sculptors. So art's always been in, in That's great. one form or another, or another in, my, in my veins. Like, I love it. Um, and then storytelling, like I said, is, is one of my favorite things. I love reading books. I love stories. And as far as, you know, going back to childhood, I, I would walk into a movie and come out as characters That's doing awesome. different languages, different accents, different uh, uh, voices, everything. Since I was a kid, like, that That's was cool. just who I was. That's very cool. I did not get into acting till very late in life though. Yeah. I did not get into acting till I was in college at the University of Texas. Um, even though it's what I wanted to do 
but I was also an athlete and it was kind of like, gotcha. are you going to be an athlete or are you going to be in, in, what did you, uh, what did I thought I, I, I ran track. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I played soccer, uh, baseball, uh-huh. just, uh, anything that I, I just, I love camaraderie. I love, team uh, effort. I love team effort. Yeah, I do. I yeah. like getting people together to accomplish something, whether it's in sports or now yeah. in our field. Yeah. I get so, it's so exhausting on set at 6 a.m. in the morning. Right. It's a, it's, you know, and there's no one there. There's no reason to be excited at 6 a.m. There isn't. <laughs> but you there are, isn't. But you are. But you, you are. And, and you are like you were like, a kid. You yeah, know, when you would wake you. up for like Saturday cartoons, ca- cartoons <laughs> yeah. or yeah. Sa- Saturday Kung Fu Theater. Yep. And you, you, you know, you'd wake up energized. Mm. You could have slept one hour and you, you didn't, didn't give a care. shit. Like you, you care. Yeah. Worry about that later. Yeah, <laughs> it was all well, the moment. And it's that electricity that, like, that's what got me into this world. Like, I remember while I was at UT, um, Christopher Guest was shooting uh, "Waiting for Guffman," and they came. Wow. They came to Austin, and they were there for like three, four weeks, and I, and two, three weeks, maybe four. Uh, and I was one of the extras. That's awesome. And so I just got to just to see, see the process taste for the it. first yeah. time. Yeah, and I was hooked, man. That's cool. Dude. I was hooked. I called my parents. I was I was gonna be a junior. Yeah. I told my mom and dad. I'm like, look, I'm sorry, but I figured I, it out. I figured it out. Yeah. I figured it out. Like yeah, this is what I've cool. wanted to do my whole life. Sometimes you don't even know what it is. No, you don't until 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 you get the exposed to, like you know. But then it's all the little the yeah, tumblers it's in the lock. Before yeah. it's just playing. Before it's just playing. Yeah. It's and Nate and I. Oh, let's go. You know, let's go to the pub and be all this and 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 you're just playing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh wow, this is a lot of fun. Like I could let's monetize this. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm not. I don't, I don't want to say I'm courageous, but you have to have a a, a, a certain a certain amount of courage to pursue what your career want is, depending. Yeah a lot I think on your career like we were saying our career is a little different a lot of careers have a, a ladder that you can climb yeah you start low, you know you start low and you're gonna if yep. you're good yeah and you put years in yep you're gonna get yep. better and yep. better and better position always that's just that's our like world is ladder. not it's not, a not that way yeah it's 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 very much a, you can be throwing the sharks yeah you can be you know like on the mountain high and then next thing you know you're Knock the right off yeah, and yeah. chumble all the way down. Yep. Yeah. And I think different. it's interesting you mentioned sharks because I think that's a real interesting thing that, that you know, uh, Joe, Luke, yeah. we've talked about. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the other thing is, like, I think that we also, because not all of us are sharks, right? So if you work in a world with sharks, at the very least, you have to recognize that you're in the world with sharks. Yep. You got to know you're that you're in the water going. with the sharks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You don't have to become a shark. No, but... But yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna you defend yourself, you gotta have a plan live for the that. shark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have a plan for the shark. Yeah, no, that's true. That's really you know? accurate. Because I don't like you mentioned like I, I, me being positive. Like a lot of people may see that as a detriment that you're too nice for this or that, or a lot of people mistake niceness for weakness. True. You know, I think it's the exact opposite. Is if you're a genuine person, because I mean, you and I have talked about this probably a few times, but I don't associate with anyone who's ingenuine. Or disingenuous, mm-hmm. because the problem with that is, is you can't trust them. Yep. And their character, you, you see, there's a veil there. They, they're not exposing you to the real person. Yeah. And when you can't ha- meet that real person, then I don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. Because nothing's going to happen. We're going to we're going to placate on the surface. And we're not ever going to go deep. And yeah, it's a superficial relationship. Hundred percent. And there's yeah. no, and you can't work together on something as a unit with superficial behavior. You can't. It's just impossible. Well, you one. can, but you don't. It's not fulfilling, and you certainly don't want to do that long term. Yeah, it's and not, I think it's like not with us, satisfactory in any, any kind of way. at all. Yeah. And I think with us, like something that we all keep talking about is like getting to that that point in in our careers where we dictate literally who I want to work with. Yeah, because again, our our industry is so labor intensive. It's crazy. You know, like. The people that aren't here in Hollywood know and see the shine of the, the, the two hour film or the half hour show or whatever. They don't see the months. The years, the, the, the years. The, the years of trying to sell it. Yep. The months of shooting. The months of, uh, I mean, even before the selling the pitch, Riding all that kind of stuff. stuff. Yeah. They don't see that. I would say, I mean, 
from what I've gathered from other people's experience and my experience is it's like a tenfold process. You put whatever one thing is, there's ten times the amount of work behind it. Yeah. So for writing, you get a script, there's ten times the pages that have been written before yeah, that. Yeah. Like, it's like a tenfold scenario. And for every ten minutes, there's a hundred minutes that we're yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? Absolutely. So it's just a crazy it's 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 such a crazy world in a few ways, but the main way for me that is the most bizarre is that people get to a level when their work is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> it's just funny because I mean it's 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 someone can sell it obviously. That's why it's there. Yeah. But we all see stuff that we're like it's unbelievable that it, that exists. Someone paid for it. That someone it's paid for it, and, and 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 that you know that you know for a fact that you know people with better ideas uh, or better capacities yeah. that you're like, well, how did this person, you know, get to do this when it's not even on par to like no. what what Joe or Luke or Nate or Vinny, yeah. they're not. No. But for whatever reason, that person, again, and this goes back to that little bit of luck or whatever yeah. you want to call it. That person had an in. Yeah. There was something there that put it together. That and it wasn't based on talent. It wasn't based on the material. It wasn't... So as much as we, we strive for being talented, being creative, being goal-oriented and determined and all those things, someone sitting next to us who doesn't have those things but knows a guy. <laughs> it's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's, it's a, a kick to the, the nuts. nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. But, again, I, I think that like you said earlier when we take those little victories and those little nuggets for ourselves yep. that feeds us yep it feeds us to keep going um, it, is, it is the closest thing to a crack addiction i ever i ever want to have <laughs> yeah a little, little rock no we're definitely at it yeah we're definitely 100%. at it we torture ourselves incessantly i mean every day i mean i i think back like i, I said like I just turned 43 and I'm, I'm, this is my 15th year in LA and I, and I think back of like all I've given up because I love this Yeah. and yeah sometimes it bums me out but then I think about all I've gained mm -hmm. or the things the little nuggets that I've experienced the, the, the positions that I've been in you know that no one will ever be in the, to train with firefighters to live with firefighters to uh, be inside the shuttle to um, you know, recording concerts because I also do audio yeah. and sound mixing. You know, so where else would you do that? I know, I know me. Like I, I'd, I'd fucking shoot myself if I was in an office nine to five. And I'd learn that because I went to I went to UT to study finance. I was at yeah. UT Business School. Yeah. Because I, I, and I figured it out then. It's all because I wanted to be. Gordon Gecko from Wall Street. <laughs> it all it all comes back. So I went to business school thinking what I wanted to be was to be Gordon Gecko. <laughs> yeah. But no, what I wanted to be was the an actor. Character. The Play character. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't have love for the numbers. That's hilarious. No, that's it, great. It's crazy. That's great. But it was. It was Wall Street that to me, like I was like, oh, I, 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 I got to be an investment banker. That's 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 the shit. <laughs> it's great. You know, greed is good. Yeah, look at that. Greed guy. works. Right. Lo and behold, it did. You know. Yeah. Well, hey, I mean, if anything, it, we may not always take the right steps to get to where we're going, but I feel there's an inner compass that kind of, like, oh, no, you got to yeah. go back. So, yeah. whatever that may be. But well, I you got to listen to yourself. Like that's you true. We, we all have something, like, you know, we're all animals. Yeah. And we all, like, humans have instincts just like animals. Mm -hmm. Most of us, myself included, by and large, never listen to them. Yeah, it's hard to. We, we try to explain the reality is that fucking instincts yep. and insane ways of of like they say you know like the universe conspires to make your your truest dreams come true it's figuring out how to talk to that universe because it's to the universe completely yet but i haven't got that number yet <laughs> yeah not yet i feel like i got like four of the numbers maybe five of the numbers and i'm i'm trying to do, find do, the do the <laughs> Perfect. Um, let's do a little of this because you have so many skill sets. Um, oh shit! Thank you. You do, and your skill levels on, especially with audio, uh, it's it's, it's been my weakness for a long time, and and stuff that we work with that you've helped me with 
uh, graciously many times. Um, let's talk about kind of the fun stuff you've gotten to do because working in, in as a, like a audio mixer and a, yeah, 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 and a, man. I mean, like, like I said, I I did a show where basically uh, it was called Lives on Fire. We we had the train as I got a, a firefighter certificate uh, from I own which awesome. is Cal Fire's uh, uh, training school. That's awesome. Shot the show, got to live with firefighters, learned that my, that again, as a child, I was like, oh, being a firefighter is great. Whilst shooting this show yeah. and seeing what they do, <laughs> yeah. I was like, nah, not, nah, for, me. Not, not, not for, for me. me. I'm glad I never tried to become a firefighter. Yeah. Because it's just, it's a life that I, I just can't see myself doing. Yeah. Um, I've I've I lived in in Cuba for that five one, months. This is my you know, stories, and this yeah. is before before we were you know, like in the last Cuba. two years. Yeah. yeah, in the last two years after our show Cuban Chrome came out is is actually while we were there we didn't plan it. The show obviously didn't know is when uh, Obama and Raul Castro had that no, meeting for the first time mm -hmm. that started to open those doors. So you know we were in Cuba for five months. That, it, what an amazing experience. Crazy. Uh, I got to do uh, uh, a show called Dream School where, like, you know, we had uh, David Arquette, Oliver Stone, uh, Mae Jameson, um, Soledad O'Brien, like, just all the, the best of their fields were teaching these at-risk kids that's all, that's okay. how to come out in life, how to be engaged in life. That's cool. Um, just so many different things, man. I've, I've been at Santa Anita Park. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, I've been mixing I don't want to talk for the the latest project that I've done. I love on that but uh he approach his approach is innovative and on everything he does there's an innovation there and no one's no one's done He's he's amazing, it's and it's also about the human connection, which is yeah. something that I always love about his stories. Like his stories, you know, you'll see the commonness between people that are so different, which I think is so important in the world. We need more of that in yeah. the world. Um, Expose that little. Yeah, man. Little instead connection. of like keeping and and trying to keep separating each other and dividing, and these are the different. It's like, well, what's mutual between us? Yeah. What's common between us? Yeah. So we can unite as a world. I mean. You and I talk at length about this, but we potentially. I mean, there could be other reasons. Never yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> but or no, just no, silence no, instead. No, just just silence is easier. Bro. Crickets. That's what you get. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I. I mean, we're in a place now where the cool thing is is more independent style content is coming forth, where Absolutely. it's not as studio robotic formulaic you know there's a lot of new storytelling there's a lot of like um Alejandro his Birdman was no one had tried that Those no one even shot no man. one even thought was possible but he's like nah I got this so I that I take is is literally in like tangible inspiration absolutely and I will say with Alejandro though that you also in the in especially with the shots you have to you have to mention his his friend and collaborator for most of this stuff is uh chivo the dp yeah emmanuel yeah. uh because like it's it's that it's execute. so <laughs> awesome to watch those two execute. on set yeah yeah but to watch them on set man is, is just beautiful because they have this this language that's all their own they've, mm -hmm. they've known each other forever they know each other's likes they they, they just like they talk without talking and that's awesome that's that you yeah, as a director and someone that get like as a DP and a director, their bond has to be should one be. of those special or should, should be. be. Yeah. It doesn't always happen. I mean no. you can you can make things work or you know, but that's what I would aspire to is someone I can literally call on and be like, Listen, no, I got it. Yeah. Good. Like, done. But that's the way with all of these relationships and positions and different roles in the well, yes, again, so. going back to what we said, like if you look at someone like Alejandro, like he works predominantly with the same people same behind people. the camera. This is the the talent always changes. On this podcast is this, is you have your team. You, you have your team. You pull them up. And everyone goes with because you trust. For various reasons, you trust them, which I think is is probably the biggest. Mm -hmm. But you know, like we said, it, if you're putting a a minimal twelve hour day, you don't want to be with a bunch of assholes. Yep. And 
and you also uh, he's an asshole then you're gonna have to forgive him for yeah. being an asshole because yeah. you need really not all work but it's just it, it's great when you work with people that that are great at their jobs mm -hmm. that are passionate about their job as you are about energy, your job same, yeah, yeah man. same passion same determination those are all key elements i think for absolutely for this stuff and the ability to collaborate i think is important that is very sometimes key. like especially i think for for sometimes writers directors uh the content producers sometimes maybe they have too strong a hold on on their project mm -hmm. uh and 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 then they don't they aren't open enough to the collaboration of the process and i think that's that's part of the beauty of it and, yeah. and part of the importance of it is to you know to be open to other ideas and being firm, you, yeah. you gotta have both. Gotta it's both. a balance of both, right? It, way, like you're yeah. a director, so you we, know what I'm talking we play, about. Right? We play the game of balance, where it is the moment you let the moment ride. You because as directing actors is tough because for a lot of reasons, but one of them is they're seeing a, a, a movie in their head. The other actor is seeing a movie in their head. The director is seeing a movie in his head, and the director's got to get the movie to be the same with everybody. Yeah. So it's not an easy no, no. thing to do. So there's a level of trust. There's a level of communication that has to happen. There's a level of, of being able to f like finagle the situation to you know best fit the story. All those things are tough. But when you have people that you allow to collaborate, you can say, "Hey, I, I, my character. I don't know if he would do this or like you know maybe if I did this motion or whatever yeah. it may be. If you don't allow those things to happen, then I feel like." If you're not open enough to allow something to happen, it's going to fall short. It also could be a thousand times better than anything written on paper the day, any day before that. So you got to allow it to happen, but you also got to play the binds of time and money and, and all those other you, aspects. You have to be flexible, man. The, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, there's a plan. But it's like, what, what did Mike Tyson say? Like, everyone's got a plan until they yeah. you get there. Yeah. Like, and on the go. A million. On the go. Literally, you have to play it directly and just with, um, go with your gut and hopefully it goes the right way. Yeah. That's it. No, absolutely. So. Uh, to me, it's, it's like I said, I, I, I don't do this because I don't love it. No. Um, definitely not. This is it's something we have to day forward yeah. and not to get bogged down on the days where, you know, and you're going to have them. And I speak particularly, say, from an actor. Yeah. Where... You know, you're not getting the auditions you want. Uh, you're, you're, you either are going to be slave to that mm -hmm. or, you know, you're out there doing not, you know, uh, films oh, that are going to... lost the connection. Oh. I'll go fix it real quick. Keep okay. talking. And can we have beer? I got you, brother. Let me see. Hold on real quick. Cause Technology, man, you can't trust it. Come on, buddy. There we go. Jeez. Boom. Sir. Thank you, my brother. Okay, let's do it. So, yeah, I, I, I think that um, as two people who are been working for a while, at the level, of the, you can't like anything that sounds. Yeah. So, just because something isn't working, like you can't just give up. Not if you love it. No, not. If and you that's love a it. way I think to determine do you love it or not. Like, yeah, because. To get to that greener pasture, you gotta crawl through the shit and fucking uh, the de the desert patch. Yeah, the, you gotta go through all the, the all the climates. The glacier <laughs> patch. Yeah. You, you know, you gotta go through it's all these things. Never ending. Never no. ending. And and hopefully it never is, right? Like hopefully we we learn till the day we die. Yeah. And we get better, like, because that's the reality. And the like, actors, like, there there's no oh I I've I've, re I've reached the pinnacle of act. No, no. man, it's 
every character, every day, like there's something new. You look at like some of the biggest actors that have ever existed. I think of people like Harrison Ford and like they could have stopped years ago. Oh yeah. They've made all the money there that they needed to make. That money is nothing at this point. Love of the craft. They love it. Love of the the the, the environment they of on being on set or even it could even be the ego could be driving all those things. But Which no for some of them they do, you're Absolutely. Right. But when you get to the point where you, like your ego is driving you, you st- it doesn't mean you're not having fun at it. It doesn't mean you're enjoying yourself. It could be a little bit pricked at other people maybe potentially or whatever it may be. But someone along the way enjoys working with that, that person. Yep. So you're helping. It, it, just, it's, it unfolds like a flower. It opens up. It, and, it can. And more, yeah, more and more people get affected by the positive nature of the industry. But it can also eat, I hope eat people. So. I, well, I hope, we hope so. Like I said, but it can eat, eat people up and spit them out too. It's just, oh, our industry absolutely does that. It's crazy. This town absolutely does that. It's town stuff. It's, uh, I, look, I was, when I left UT, I, I made a decision. I went straight to Miami because, because I'm Hispanic and I speak Spanish fluently. Um, it's my first language. Like I, I told myself, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to go to Miami first. Because it's going to be easier for me to get my SAG card. It's going to be easier for me to find an agent. And it was. You know, like, whereas I can't walk into William Morris here, CAA here. I walked into the Green Agency, which is one of the best agencies in Miami. Literally walked into their door. That's great. And said, yo, I'm... I'm, What's up? I'm Gustavo (laughs) Flores. I want to get in. (laughs) Yeah. What do I need to do? Sure. And they signed me. And because of that, you know, I, I started going to auditions. And I started to learn... The business outside of LA. Yeah. Till I was ready for the big leagues, right? Mm-hmm. And you come out here, and you continue the process. Yeah. It didn't stop because I left Miami. You just did it again, taking a, a deviation, yeah. or you know, I or went to a tutorial, the or whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah. To get to the final destination, which yeah. is here, yeah. and then you get here, and then it's years more of fucking work. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it, it like it's like a over there, like you get to a point where the casting director directors will actually call you up and say, "We don't even need to. Uh, we're not doing casting. We just want to book you." Yeah. Wow, wow, wow that's, that's great. fucking great. It's on a badge yeah. on the shoulder. Yeah. Sure, it makes you feel great. Yeah. And you come out here, no one calls. And, no one calls. <laughs> and you got to start all over. Yeah. You got to find the agent here. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got to find because I do think like finding uh, great. Acting coaches is important because for the actor it's important. Like I said, you, you do you wait around for for auditions. You got to be sharpening your sword in between there. Yeah. It's a muscle you got to flex and absolutely you work it out. And it helps, and it, it helps whether you're doing classes. Like one thing that I did for a while a couple of years ago was like four of my buddies from Miami. Uh, we would meet once a week and we would do scenes from movies, TV shows, That's whatever. Cool. That's and really you know. These guys are, you know, on Last Man Standing, Melvin, uh, Maurice Comte just did uh, Narcos, Oscar, uh, my boy, is doing uh, some new show that's filming in Atlanta right now. Like, but it was us keeping our muscles yeah. going yeah. and just every week meeting at Nate's house and let's do some scenes and shoot them. That's so as an actor, yeah. you know the camera, you know what you got to do. Yeah. 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 yeah, so that you're not intimidated because I know me personally – I hate the audition process. Oh, it's it's a meat. It's meet so factory. hard, man, for yeah. for me as an actor because like you put all this energy into three pages, yeah. seven pages of material. You're not quite sure of the whole. And half the time, it's not even that. It's it's like how charming were you? Yeah, as a person. A lot of the time, it's, do you fit the, the skills? The skill set is not the the yeah. requirement to go to an audition. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even an actor. These are just what I've heard and the stories I've been told. And uh, one of my, my roommate's boyfriend works at a casting agency, and he literally goes, the people that get cast are never the people that should get cast, usually. It's usually the people that, A, money, the no name actor. Right. When it's, it's not a name actor. It's uh, the charisma or yeah. the, you know, whatever the key element was. But nine times out of ten, it wasn't the skill set. Yeah. It was like, they can do stuff on camera, cool, that's done. Got that out of the way. Now it's, I like her personality, I like how, like, because the other thing too, like we said, it's about, if when you're working 16 hour days, right. as, you Vinny, gotta like as Vinny person. always says, I've said this quote a thousand times on this podcast already, but if you don't want to have a beer at the end of the day, that person, that 
you know. I'm all for that. Vinny, yeah. Vinny and I are right on that. Yeah, it's well. I mean, we, we all have that same thing. It's like, like if you don't want to continue hanging out with that person after you know sets done, then what's tomorrow going to be like? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. and you and look, you're going to run into that a lot because I see it as well. Like you know, after nine, ten years of, of being on sets, it's like there's some sets and shows and that that you leave and you you know that you've made friends for life Mm -hmm. and there's some sets and shows that you leave and you feel like you made friends for life and then you never talk to them again yep um because that's kind of part of the the nature of this business because also once you walk off that set yeah you don't know where your next job is coming from so everyone like you know till you get to that a list till you're george clooney or brad pitt you you, you can say I won't show up for less than. Yeah. Yeah. And not even like at that point you can you can say you know what Nate I love your material I believe in it yeah. I'm gonna find the backing for it. You or know even I mean? the ones that just show up don't even expect a paycheck yeah. just because they like the story so much. Yeah. And that's it's just getting to that level and and the only way you do get to that level I think is obviously by finding some success for yourself so mm-hmm. that you can take those uh, what the pat one for you one for me kind of thing. Yeah. You know. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> delicious yeah man i love it i think that uh if we continue working at the pace that we're working at with all the the sacrifices and i mean i had a similar story when i told a story you know podcast already for this is the fifth episode i probably told it five times um but I, I moved from minnesota to vegas because it was the new hollywood at the time and then the economy crashed and everything left and so i had to fall back but uh kind of how you went to florida I went to Vegas and kind of got my chops and yeah. and things I wouldn't have experienced anywhere else, even in Hollywood. Not here, experience. even. Yeah. So, uh, it's it's keep putting your your foot and testing if there's a quicksand or not. Like yeah. we just keep walking out blindly, but we're, we're, with, we're, with, we're, with <laughs> sometimes sometimes there's people to help pull us out and get us back. Always. On, so. I mean, look, I don't think anyone in our in our group of friends. Would would dare say they haven't fallen, um, and I and I and I can guarantee you that no one I know this like no 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 great actor no great director writer no great businessman doctor whatever has ever not fallen. Yep. And what makes you great is dusting yourself off and and, and mm-hmm. getting back up. And the mistakes and are honestly the they're most, lessons the most important part of the process, even if they're not your own. Yeah. I and mean, one thing I try no, to do. That's, that's huge. One That's thing huge I try one. to do is to take other people's mistakes and be like, "All right, let's share that mistake." Yep. Let's let's make it our own and then move on. Yeah, because that gives you a, a better foundation to to build on. Yeah. You know, and that's that's Jeez. sharp. That's sharp thinking because a lot of people don't. Yeah. Uh, well, a lot know, of people are focused on like what it, me me me. Right. It's my path. It's my job. But I, like every time I like with Forrest, the the project that we're working together on is I always say it's my story, but it's not my movie. It's my it's idea. Smart. It's not my. It's not my film. It's 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 our film. We, I can't go out there and play all the roles and shoot all the. You know, it's just impossible. Yeah. Or what I. Um, to a person that's yeah. also, Same at level. their A game. Mm-hmm. I, again, going back to Alejandro, like, dude, the guy's a master without a doubt. But I know from watching him work that he's not someone that is. He's not my. As a, yeah, you just add a couple. You had more lights. Yep. You know, you had more rooms. You had more mics. You got three cameras instead of one. Yep. The scale raises, but but the the what it takes is the same. Same. It's, it's the it's, same. It's, 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 it boils down to the basics. Yeah. And if you don't have the basics, like it's like a foundation. Like I said, it just nothing can build off that. So if you don't have the the trust in people, if you don't have the ability to hand off yep. and say, hey, we get the audio, cover it. A yeah, couple things I want to capture or whatever it may be. Here's an element that you may be aware of in my head, so yep. I'll share it with you and then go from there. And it's, I mean, I've seen like some background like documentaries and, and behind the scenes stuff of, of people where they may have not, like arguments on set even. And it's like the arguments, those are tough, but they have to be there too. Because if the communication is falling, you got to build it back up. If it's if you we're, have to, if we're missing something, because it's like I said, it's it's one 
It's like a thousand people tied together trying to walk a bridge. Yeah. There, you can't go in your own direction. You have to go in the group's direction. Yep. So it's a it's a hive mentality, but there has to be someone in charge at the same time. Always. Yeah. But everyone has, has an, uh, uh, an openness to how they do these things. Cause I think the cool part is, is the ego. As, as, as much as we think that we think of actors as being like crazy egomaniacs and maybe some directors and some people, but at the same time, they are participating in a group effort. So it's not their show. It's so there. There's a little bit of no matter what ego level you're at, it could be you know. Yeah, I don't. You know, like divas it's no end, but they still have to participate. It's funny because I don't. As far as the the, the people that we know intimately, like I haven't met. Yeah. People with it's very rare egos Honestly. that are so big. I think they're healthy egos. I don't think yeah. any of our friends like are shy or timid or don't no. believe in what they do. Yeah. But I don't think anyone in our group is like overly bearing and no. like I'm gonna dictate to you guys. I kind of hope that's the new culture. Wow, man, it'd be great if it was. But it'd be great it'd if be it was. But I don't maybe know. Maybe just because we're, we're there, we're surrounding ourselves and which is great. I mean, look, uh, like energies attract like energies, yeah, and, sure. and like you said earlier, like if I'm working with someone that I don't like, I'm not gonna not work with them, or I'm not, but. You just let that kind of end, yeah. You know, yeah. And, and you gravitate towards the people that you want to work That's with. True. Um, and I think that makes it even more creative. Yeah, it allows for it allows for a more creative atmosphere. Absolutely. Sure. I mean, I, I as an actor, I think like actors were kind of the director's tool. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm one of those actors that one I, I I'm method. That's what I've studied a lot. Yeah. Um, and that's what I like to get into. Um. But I also like director's direction. Sure. I want the director to tell me where they want me to go. Yeah. Um, because, like, as an actor, like, I have my interpretation and I'm going to color my part. I'm going to flesh out my character and be yeah. my character. You're coloring, but in, like you're you're coloring said, in the lines that have already been drawn. Yeah. And like you said, the, the director has to kind of rein those things mm -hmm. in so that the whole film and everyone in the film... Yep. Is headed in like you were saying the bridge. Yeah. A thousand of us going into the same direction. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, if, if if all the actors in a film are, are doing different tone characters, yeah. that don't then it's gonna be a little rough. It's gonna be rough. And it's gonna be rough. You know. Yeah. Sure. And again, it, it just goes back to the collaboration. To me, it's 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 a fun process, man. It really is. It's one of those things. It's heartbreaking, where, but dude, it's it's one of those things where we we toil. Like, I can only speak for myself because. I, I can tell of other people's stories and references, but when it comes to myself is the amount of time that I've ingested into something that, you know, it may or may not come to fruition. I, I, once again, a story I keep telling, but the story, I, a reference I always have is a picture. It's just one image I, that I saw, and it was a wall, like this tall, full of scripts for one month. And those were just submitted scripts to a studio. Wow. And it's like... The odds, it's it, right? It show it, it. It throws it right in your face. Yeah, like this like, is what you're. You every up one of every one of those little pages that's oh. a, you know half a half a half a half a millimeter thick. That was someone's life yeah, yeah, for a rough. long time, and seeing it piled up with the rest of them, it's, it's like rough. it's the amount of hours and lives that are stacked. It's, it's as a reference to just the toil that happens, but it, the swing end is when you see that come to life on a screen. It's a very, very unique experience. It's an amazing... It, 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 it's not like forest, right? Yeah. Like, how, how, how much effort have you put into it? How much effort did, did then go into it from the people you put together yeah. because we liked the story, the project, and, yeah. the project yeah. because we love you? Yeah. You know, it's just that building of things together. I mean, like goosebumps, just thinking of like because it starts to be fun. Like you're you're around a table and and you know you're you're reading the script and you're getting the dialogue down and you're growing and you're in, you, it's it's a living organism. Yeah, that's honestly the best example of what like we we, we say before like it's a baby like we're yeah. raising a, yeah, yeah, yeah. raising a child. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. But I, I think you're actually a little more accurate. Is it's actually back to a 
two-celled organism. Yeah. We're building it from there. Yeah. It's not a baby. It's from, in, in utero. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah. That's where it starts. Yeah. Because, like, this, that concept for Forrest, it was literally an idea that I had in 2005. Wow. So. Jeez. Actually, in 2000, yeah, 2005, 2004, one of those two. Um, and it was just an idea that I had in a production company that was, we we're all friends, it's kind of a similar thing that it's our crew. I had a little crew back in Vegas and, um, we even went out to, we drove out to this, uh, Mount Charleston and uh, at night and we had a, like a regular camera and stuff and we just ran around the woods, like pretending to be characters that like, we didn't have a script or anything. This is just a concept. Yeah. yeah. And so many improv type of shit. A lot of yeah. improv shit. <laughs> and it was like, what did you, did you hear that? It was like one of those things. And it, it, I never let it go. We never did yeah. anything with it since that one moment. Yeah. It was like, oh, it's a back burner project. We'll, we'll flush this out. But it was my idea. So I carried it with me till I got to, to LA. And then years later, I ended up like, all right, now's the time. So. It's been a it's been a weird and rocky and arduous, well, but, it, but it's been a great fun and and I don't know. It's it's it is it's a ride, man. It's a ride, and it goes to show, like again, that this process is one that takes time. Yeah, you know, uh, scripts take years to get sold. Mm -hmm. uh, even even when there are scripts that are believed in. Oh yeah, it's it's uh, a lot of them. It's not that someone doesn't believe in them. Um, and they're not liked and they're discarded. A lot of the scripts are liked. They bounce around from People studio want to, studio, to make studio, them. They, they, like like there's a studio that's interested now. Yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're told no. So, you know, you go from the high of like, oh shit, we're about to be made. Like yep. uh, Paramount wants us. Yep. But then they fire their fucking uh, CEO. CEO and and so he doesn't want yep. it. And Sell it over to some other studio. It's, but I, I, again, like one thing that I've always said, and I, I believe this is like most of the people in our in our industry, from top to bottom, from from crew to cast, love what they do. Yeah, I believe that for the I most part, because you don't sacrifice as much as we do, uh, without a love for something. Yeah, it's it's an environment that it's it's a tough environment to live. Oh yeah, but it's also. A, like one of the most rewarding. Like, you don't get many experiences. Like you were saying, like, like how many times do actors say, "I've got to do something that no one in the other on the planet gets to do," and, and you, you do, and you do. Like, there's just weird things that happen because you are in, in this ability of fantasy. Really? You get to live out fantasies that no one else gets to have. No one else gets to fly on a dragon and you know, or, no. or you know, be in a submarine or you know. There's just it's it's a weird it's a weird world of fantasy that we let we are forcing to come to reality. Absolutely. It's not an easy task. Not at all. But I think like, for again, as an actor, that's one thing that I love is that I, to me, like acting is kind of like being a kid and being with your brother and friends and you get to play every weekend and yeah. you're a different character and throw a towel around your neck and be a Yeah, superhero. like there is, in my mind, right? And I'm sure a musician would say it or an artist would say it or a director would say it, like, in my mind as an actor, there's no better job. It's the funnest fucking job in the world. To, to to be this empathetic uh, mold uh, goo that you can put yourself and be different people and feel different things, there's nothing better for <laughs> terrible put in a hat. Yeah. Things that we're good at. We follow them. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. A lot of the times, again, people like you said, or have to fool themselves into saying, no, I, I love this life. Yep. Or they'll be, they'll be so used to it, they're willing to, not willing to sacrifice any of it. But they kill their souls. I can't tell you, man, like how many times like I've talked to, to friends, like say in Texas or Florida. Yeah. Um, that, that are like my brothers and we'll talk. And, and I'm talking, these guys are millionaires. They've worked. They they did their careers, whether lawyers, doctors, they climbed the bankers. Ladder. They 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 climbed that ladder that we mm -hmm. talked about. They're millionaires. You know, I, I, I'm a human. I'll have my regrets sometimes. Sure. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. What am I doing? I can't tell you how many times those same people are like, dude. You know what? You inspire me. Yep. Like, you by doing what you love, like give me hope in my life. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's the truth. It's like, really, it really is. 
it's the truth because they'll be like, you know what? You're doing what you love. And yeah, maybe maybe you struggle. Yeah. Maybe this month you don't know how you're going to pay rent. Yeah. And I figured it out for the last 15 years how to do it. Okay. Somehow, some way. Yeah. Like, because I'm miserable. Yep. <laughs> You've got the house. It, it is. Better. It is. Perspective. You're absolutely right. Garbage, and yeah. that's the reality of it. It really is. You know, I've talked to, to studios. You are. Oh the fucking yeah. glass ceiling. Yeah. You know, five, ten. Here we are, where we're at right yeah. now. We want that. Yep. That's where we want to be. We look at it. We look at it as like that's that's the the culmination. That's the pinnacle. Yeah. That's it. That's the yeah. top of the mountain. And we think that you know where we are in hindsight is they would probably love to come back down to enjoy it to a little enjoy bit. Enjoy it and it, like and because there's there's a like it's not the, the destination is the journey. Yeah, it's it's kind of true, but at the same time, is the goal you can't take the journey. And then balance thing, and you need you need to have the, the goal fortitude again to work. be conscious of the little battles that we do that are gonna feed us. Yeah, it's the it's the the little gold coin. What have I read? Like, and I know this ever like saying I ninety nine. It's it's, it's crazy now. You can't. You have to, of it is, yeah, I, I think it's education and knowledge perpetuates uh, when we prove that it's going to hurt us. Now we had the, the it's just a, yeah, you're, you're back, back to the, except when through you really fucking take, push through to get to. I mean, I, how many times have you heard the story where the the, the script sat on a shelf, or the the publisher didn't want the novel twenty seven times, but now some of the most famous people, some of the most famous people that you know of, that you can think of, actors, directors, yeah. writers, producers, those people had a thousand mistakes you didn't hear about. Yeah, absolutely. And everyone will tell you there's a passage. Yeah. And the whether they're on the, 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 the bus, acting, but like it's because in the, it's, it's literally yeah it's upward. I, I can think of some directors of that. Um, yeah, the, the Steven Spielberg. Uh, what an experience! Through and tell stories as part of the you know what he told you, what the fuck is he got every pass. So he was sneaking. He would do. Uh, he went to a couple of Hitchcock films as they were shooting a Hitchcock movie, and he would just be in the audience. And he's like, "I just need the direct, you know, like I can't get out of here, you know, one of those." But like, now he's Steven Spielberg. Yeah. So it's like those little things that. Uh, that's what you do. What you do and saying, "Find you, hey, the for him." Television. Yeah. So yeah. I did it now uh, with you know world with one of the best you know production houses in the world, uh, legendary. Like it all was possible because I paid attention for the last nine ten years mm -hmm. on every set that I was on. Yep. Whether it was as an actor, as a sound mixer, as a PA, uh, as a location man. Like I'm I've, I've tried to do every job. Great, because the more jobs you know how to do, the, the more you understand the more your industry, you understand, and the more you can trust people that do those jobs. Yeah, yeah, because you know what to, you know what to expect. You know the role. You know the the, the, the pressures. You know the spend enough time paying attention to what the the audio guy does. Yep. Well, then I can actually help the audio guy, but now become a burden to the audio guy. Yeah. If you're an AD, that's so. Think of it. If you're an AD, like how crucial is that, that that this guy already knows how to simplify the fucking director's life yep. real quick. Yep. He knows how to talk to your audio mixer. Mm -hmm. He knows how to talk to the DP. Like, yep. and maybe we take it for granted. I don't think it's everyone that knows that. Not every AD knows how to do that. And I think every... they, they, I think the school of thought that has been for many years, and I think the independent realm is changing this. Is you learn one job. Right. You go. To oh yeah, 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 yeah. One Absolutely. Job. So Absolutely. you have one skill set. Yeah. You mastered it. You're great at it. You're done. Next. But then there's people like me, who I have spent n not nearly enough time on a film set. Right. But I've done the camera. 
right. editing the I, like I've you know I've run the yeah. gamut yeah because I've done a lot of it myself. So you've had to yeah yeah I literally it's by by force also by choice because I love doing it. Like I can't tell you how many times I've sat and watched YouTube videos of stuff I've never done before because I've had to do them in the moment. Yeah, <laughs> like it's like well I don't know how to do that. Is it like YouTube saved a lot of lives? I'm sure. Oh man, I, know I've I used it, like the same. YouTube is one of those resources that is underappreciated. Yeah, underutilized. And the amount of content that you can get, you can, you can literally teach yourself how to do any software program yeah. for free. It is, it is r- it, unbelievably incredible. There's the highest end programs, like like After Effects is a great example. I have been using After Effects for a long time. I don't know shit about After Effects. It's just so complicated, and there's so many elements to it that you do one little mistake, and you miss it. It affects it everything. everything down the line. Right. And it's one of those things where you can't, you can't even put yourself... In the position of okay, I I I know where the problem is. Now you gotta go and back and change because one thing affects all, all of it. Right. It's yeah, like, like the one file, like all of a sudden yeah, it's layered. Yeah. So you got so it's, it's not just, just changing it. So you can spend your whole life learning one program and still not master it. Yeah. There are some people who are really great at it. God bless them. Like that. That so we need that. We need that person who's taking the time Habit. to do one thing. But if they know how certain other elements work together that aren't a part of that. Because it's all one thing at the end of the day. Like I said, it's all, it's just a bunch of people going, tied together, going down a bridge. If you don't know where you're going, if you can't think of what's going to happen with a guy that's, you know, on the other end of the bridge that you have to hand off to, yep. if he's if you don't put it in the right file format or if you don't have yeah. the right package, <laughs> right. Or, yeah. it's it, like there's little things that, you know, that have to be thought of long. That's why pre production is oh, the, it'll, it'll the, fuck the you most up, important man. thing. It'll fuck you up. And then again, you, you plan for it all and. And what you what but again, happens, like what there's certain things that you you can plan for, but but you cannot you cannot be a a stickler for the perfection of a shot. Yep. At some point, you gotta shoot the shot. You gotta shoot. <laughs> yeah, you gotta shoot. You know, like I I just read actually an article recently about how a lot of people on the Revenant actually it because he wanted to wait for natural gas. Does it? Come? Yeah. Because the sun moves. Like a motherfucker. You know? Like 15 you minutes. Don't, you don't know how much you appreciate the sun. Yeah, that's how you're there. shooting. Yeah. Like, and, and, and for most people don't think of it, right? No. Like, But when you're shooting, the sun's, you know, positioning, like, matters so much it's to you. Because... Crazy shadow lines, like... Right. Angles of, uh, like, <laughs> the lighting on one side of the face versus another. You rotate... It, there's it's, a million it's, variables. It, it, so many variables. So many. And you have to be, like... And, and I guess Revenant is not a good example because they wouldn't shoot. They would just yeah. not shoot. Yeah. But they, they were they, rigid. But they've earned that. They've earned that. They've caliber. earned that. That, that caliber has this come is hard. Alejandro's, yeah. you know, and she was possible yeah. second Oscar. They don't know this yet while they're filming this, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, they've earned the right to tell, say, the studio legendary, yeah. no, I'm going to wait, pause. <laughs> yeah. Start. And yeah. we're going to pause. Yeah. Well, Sp- Spielberg and those guys too. They they've earned the right to have full creative control. Now, now. But r- what did Spielberg do? Like we all know, right? Like Jaws turned oh. out to be even scarier. Yeah. Because why? Because Spielberg worked with the fact that the fucking shark wasn't working. Yeah. They could the basically like I don't know they, what did you show like four or five times that you actually see yeah. the, the shark or some shit yeah. like that. Well, it's like Alien. If if you can choreograph the suspense. And that's the main works. character of the movie doesn't work. A lot of films, right, or a lot of process or the idea, or you don't think enough. You just kind of accept things for what they are, and, and you're, you'll try to CGI shit sure. to, to make it better. But, dude, the, the human mind, like, I, I, how many times have I read, like, you know, like, the, the best horror film, you let the, 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 the viewer's mind... mind. Yep. Create the monster mm-hmm. that's their monster, the yeah. situation that's their situation. It's, a, it's, it's the psychological style thrillers right. are, I love fucking with the audience. I love, yeah. I love giving the audience just enough. Yeah. Just enough to be like, okay, I think I know what this is, but they haven't shown me to me. Shown to me. I don't know for sure. Yeah. And I don't know until they actually do. So if it's what I'm thinking, these guys are fucked. <laughs> like, it's just that, it's that... Like l- let it narrate in their own heads and create Absolutely. something that, they like, can, that, that I would never have thought of. 
Right. And it's like, I think about force a lot. Like, uh, I think I, I told you the point, especially like nowadays when we talk about, uh, you know, the, the environment sure. or where, where shit, you know, is it fake? Is it not fake? I'm one of the people that believes in scientists and science. So, yeah. uh, but one of the things that I loved about forest was like, to me is that it's like finally mother nature's tired with man. Yeah. We've, it's, you know, we've, like we've done enough. We've done enough. <laughs> All right. She's tired. Let's, let's, let's put you guys back to where you belong. Let, let me yeah. show you. Let me, as we say in, in Spanish, pow, 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 una nalga, a little fucking spanking. You, you know go, what I mean? Yeah. Um, because like it, 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 that little like a little pushback, a little pushback yeah. of like, okay, you know, you guys, you guys are here. Mar- listen, <laughs> let's have a little conversation. But listen, listen, nothing that man builds. Or create cannot be destroyed with, without a mother a nature. Bit just, of mother nature. Mother nature thoughts. I love the. You ever watch that show? Um, uh, it's like I can't remember the name of the show, but it was like after civilization's gone and the the Earth takes back the the, the cities. I have it. No, that's oh, amazing. Oh, it's like it's like the, the, the oh, wow. it's all CGI stuff, but it's basically like cities and it would like like crumbling and there's vines going up skyscrapers and stuff no and it's really cool I mean I've seen like Running Man and, yeah. and things like but that this is like, there's, a the TV, Marathon there's a TV Man. show that they would like pick a city and they would show what happened after the city no way yeah, like, after people leave it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the, how the, Mother the Nature jungle, comes back the jungle comes back or the so it's almost like um, what's that movie with Will Smith and the dog uh, I, I am uh, I, I am, am legend I am legend, I'm legend right? yeah. it's kind of like that where the, the like just him yeah, and he's living in the city. There's grass and there's deer running through the city. It's like kind of like that. Great show. It's, it's, it's like fuel. Wow, fuel, fuel for the imagination. Absolutely, stuff. it is. Yeah, and then you know that's the other thing is artists. I think which is great is that if if you have an artistic mind or and and open to all the possibilities of what mm-hmm. of what mankind can and cannot do, we, you we know. like to push the limits a little bit. But oh, absolutely, fucking lutely. That's we do. kind of our. Genetic but that's why we fly. Yeah, that's you why, know, we, that's have, why uh, we've got cars, and cameras, and everything. And that's why we can make the movies we make. Have Have we made the best uses of everything? Uh, yeah, that's no. up for question. <laughs> but no. because we're, we're at the same us. time as, as much as we are positive, we're a negative. We we're diametrically well, again, opposed man, internally. Yeah, like look, it, 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 like we talked about earlier, when you when you look at a film or a show that you think, oh, this is going to be really successful, and then it's not. Yeah. And it's not me so sad, and mm-hmm. it's fuck, man. Like that to me sometimes is sad. Yep. No, it is. It, there's shows that don't load the potential. Like I watch shows sometimes that are like I, I come kind of different versions of shows. Yeah. I have versions of shows I can watch in the background. I don't have to pay attention to. Then I have shows that I'm like I have to watch every second of and catch every little moment. Then there's shows that are like so ethereal almost. Like like Mr. Robot's a great example. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh. I gotta check it out. Oh, I don't have you to say so. Well, it's uh, it's uh, I do it on Amazon, but um, yeah, it's one of those things that you just there's so many levels that you could literally like when you watch it over again, you just, you'll catch things. It's one of those. Nice. Shows. So I love that. Um, but there's a lot of those shows now, and, and it, if it, it wasn't for things like Amazon and and uh, Netflix Hulu. and Hulu and and all these different like outlets, it's amazing now that. We're seeing voices that would never have been heard of Ever. in a studio format. Yeah, yeah. And they have, it's what the, we needed for a long time. We needed a new voice. We needed a new approach to storytelling that, because we, I mean, I remember sitcoms and stuff, it was stale. It was like, there's like a stale period of like, all right, well. And then we went to the whole world of regurgitation, of pulling up stuff. Well, that's where we're at right now, though. It's I a mean, little bit, it's a little bit of both, as we have, we have, we have the studios regurgitating. And then we have right. the independence right. of these, these but, outlets. But even though it's changed and even though for any artist now is the best time ever because, of, you mm-hmm. know, 10, 15 years ago, uh, there were five studios yep. that were going to distribute you and a few actors and all the, stu- all the movies that the studios made versus now. Yeah. It's literally the, the, the volcano's erupting. It's erupting, but not all that lava's hot. No. Some of yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, Which is on on the artist to find the way to say, okay, here's my voice, and here's why my voice is a, a little bit above the rest. Yeah, you gotta you gotta 
climb out of the, the, the you have to the you have, you, well i mean and that's that's just life yeah. Yeah, that's just what uh survival of the fittest like exactly. yeah the competition's greater mm -hmm. but you can you you can cut to the line if you are if your talent is greater than than the yeah. ability of everyone because that's the thing right like now there's so much content yep but the majority of that content is not good no very true for whatever reasons the stories suck well, they're, just, they're just not, you know, they're, produced they're, in the right way. Or, right. Yeah. You know. They're just not, they, they don't touch the heartstrings. I think a lot of, and this is one of the things too that I, this is just my personal opinion, but I think a lot of it too is is people are still in the formulaic studio structure. Sure. So we're kind of in the channels. I think Netflix is definitely doing one of the best jobs so far. Absolutely. Of putting forth a variety of kinds of stories. And, and Disney is king. But they're, and but, then Netflix. Yeah, I would those because Disney. I said, well, Disney and a couple other. Um, uh, what's the one? Well, Legendary is actually a good example. Legendary is great in that it's the only like studio that came up. Well, they're kind of like an independent recently. style studio. Like, yeah, their 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 studio is more on the like willing to take steps outside of the the, the commonplace. Well, because their founder studio. Thomas Toll like came from that. Like he came from uh, you know, investments and in, in Wall Street and hedge funds and stuff like that. But he loved film, he loved comic books. Yeah. He knew how to make money. Marvel's destroying. And Marvel. Well, I mean Mar yeah. Marvel is probably the hottest commodity. Well, Marvel and Star Wars. That's why I yeah. say Disney. Disney. Like yeah. Disney's the, the 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 biggest studio right now, yeah, bar none. Bar because no, with begins. Marvel and with Star Wars, yeah. you can, you, no losing. There's no losing. no losing. Not right now. Nope. There may be. But they they also made a really wise choice in uh, 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 obtaining those ventures. So uh, Star Wars yeah, 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 yeah. and and uh, Marvel. So I mean. But going back to Legendary, I think Legendary has done a lot of great things, and and like, but Legendary was born out of a guy's love for comic books. Yeah. You know, and then for you know, uh, making the Godzillas again. Yeah. With a with a bigger budget, but even Legendary, and I love them. Yeah. Like yeah. they're finding they they've fallen into the trap that like, Disney can can handle a few losses, yep. right? Yeah. Because they're so big. Yeah. But even companies like Legendary can't take too many hits. No, nope, they can't. They gotta be very strategic. They have to. Very strategic. And it goes back to the fact that now a fucking movie costs one hundred and eighty million dollars to make. Yep. So if you if if it costs me one hundred and eighty million dollars to make something, I gotta make a shit ton. And and what are we talking about? Some of these movies have a hundred million dollar fucking marketing campaigns. Just alone. Alone. Because are you, you fucking kidding me? Yeah. A hundred million dollars on marketing. How are you gonna make the money back? Yep. It's 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 one of those things that I've saw I've seen grow from when I was a kid, like you would watch because there's only a few channels. Yeah. So the market. Yeah. Is cheap. You had <laughs> ABC, well, I want to see CBS, CBS the way, way I remember it. CBS, yeah. NBC, ABC. Yep. And you had PBS in between. Yep. And that was it. Growing uh, up, and then at some point, I, was I know you're yeah, yeah, yeah. level. All right, shut up. But, so hey, you're a little hey, younger. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that far behind. So I remember. <laughs> That at midnight, yeah, TV just cut Static. off. <laughs> <laughs> you have the color bars. You're like, what? <laughs> no, that even stand the color bars for a little bit, and then <sighs> yep, the noise. Yeah, and that's when you knew. Oh yep. shit, I fell I asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, times. No one, changed. no kid now will ever wake up. Oh to my static. god, no. It, no, nope. I, it's what I use now to uh, to fucking fall asleep. There you go. I use static. <laughs> you're such a nerd. I, I you know, it's, you, you're a bit older. At the end of the day, huge responsibility. Like, we can affect change in the world. Most fucking definitely. Like, just just like arts do. I, I love the arts, period. Whether it's music, uh, paintings. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it comes from a different place. And it, it usually, for the most part, art can be universal. I feel it's like... It's a lot harder with film. Yeah, it is. But there, it's, all, it's basically all those things brought in together. It's it, like it it's painting, it's, it's music, it's all those... It's, uh, it's, Every, it's a movie painting. Yeah. It's a movie. It's, it's, it's a movie. All those things are things. Um, even the guy, the, the lighting guy, that's a, he's an artist. Uh, the, the electrician's an artist. Like, Fuck the, yeah, man. Dude, it's crazy the amount of things you need to know and how to like... It. That's why not one person in this town is... is it, you, you can't be king by yourself. No. Because you're not like... As much as like, again, like we said, as much as it is beneficial to 
learn your business, know about your business, every position in your business. You're not going to always be able to do that. Not always. Your mind isn't always going to be able to comprehend everything that goes into that. you may not have enough room there at the time to focus on it, but... But that's why you have fucking people around you. Yeah. And that's why it's fun. It's it's a great time. Just like this is a great time. It's it, dude, it's it's a it's a love affair. It's it's a thing that works, but it's a thing of sacrifice. And so when you try to show it to people and oh look, uh, people think oh Brad Pitt, I love him like, but that's not the life of an actor. No. Like Brad Pitt suffered a lot. I'm sure if we talk oh. to Brad, like I'm sure you would tell <laughs> us. Like, the, I think you you probably heard the stories like I have about the amount of people that are famous in Hollywood. Yeah. It's oh, what crazy. about, uh, was it Hoffman and who? Like, uh, in New York, though, it was Hoffman and Duvall, some crazy shit. Like, and, and you have all these legendary fucking Living actors together. that lived in, like, one bedroom, uh, cockroach invented. Yeah. And but they loved it. Yeah. yeah this is a different, uh, this is uh, one of my more of a it was geared towards sex and shit like that and they they asked him you know a lot of uh women coming up to you you know and kevin bacon was like yeah you know it's true uh right now i'm kevin bacon so yeah what was when i was kevin bacon and i lived in a studio and i had a, a a fucking mattress on the floor and that's all that i fucking had yep and i was still getting laid <laughs> beautiful because it's it's it, and it that's the thing right with people who have the the insecurity you, of you like you don't know you appreciate the, the time before before because yeah. you knew that that uh the only the, the character Patricia wanted yeah. to be with you yeah not kevin bacon not kevin bacon yeah or your homies wanted to hang with you yeah. not because you're kevin effective <laughs> and and then enjoying every part of the process yep you have to you, you know, because one, at one point you will be Kevin Bacon, or, yeah. or you will be Steven Spielberg. Mm-hmm. We all hope and goddamn, that's going to be <laughs> awesome. Can't wait. Because <laughs> yes, no matter can. what they say, like, I've been rich, I've been poor, it's a lot more purpose. <laughs> can't, like, that, some of the happiest that's motherfuckers. Ass. You know? But the thing is, too, like, it all comes, I, I think it all comes down to the core of a character. Core, yeah. The core of your character is, if you're at the core of you, is a beautiful person. Doesn't I don't you can be swimming in like you know uh, yeah, in, a, yeah. in a pool of cash. It may affect how you live your life, but if you're a solid enough person, the character strong enough, it won't affect it. Yeah, God and, willing. Yeah, and there are there are a lot of, there are a lot of people that I can think of. They're like Chris Pratt is one of my favorite. I love people. him. I just read an article with him today about his He's training. Great. Actually, it was more about how Hugh Jackman. Mm-hmm really fucked all these superhero guys up by being low but level. and it really they were cut off for whatever even he, uh whichever his fourth uh film was doing wolverine where he yeah. finally felt that he had the body the, the for physique wolverine. of logan like if you look at if you look at they, they did uh, before and after like the first uh wolverine, I, i'd love to see that it's great the first wolverine and then, uh, not the Logan, but the one before that. Yeah. They showed it. That's, that was. And it's literally ridiculously different. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's almost like, that guy looks like a pussy. <laughs> yeah. That guy could kill everyone. Yeah. It is such a drastic difference. And that's exactly what, what he wanted. Yeah. Was in his training and in his character, which is, that's what I love about Hugh Jackman. I love him. And like, I love what he did with Logan. And I'm a huge fucking I've been collecting X Men since I was a child. You're nerd, uh, you're nerd level. I'm a nerd. Like I love straight. this stuff, and and I'm gonna pass it down. Like I've got mint condition uh, comics. Uh, number one Wolverine, number one Weapon X, That's and I'm gonna awesome. pass it on to my son. Yeah. Um, but in 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 the article, they said like Jackman just took it to the next level for all these guys because mm-hmm. he took the character so seriously. Yep. That he wanted to be this comic book thing, not CGI, yeah. not drawn shit, just shredded. Yeah. And he said, he's like, I wanted to take him and so that people would say, oh yeah, this guy could fucking rip someone's head off yeah. just by looking at you. Yeah. So the, the article today was just talking about like how all the Chris Pratt's or mm-hmm. the Chris Evans yeah, all and all these guys, or, or uh, they were not making fun of, but they mentioned Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man where yeah. he was like, eh, he was lean, but he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't you know, cut at he's all. not like yeah. what... What Chris Pratt did for Guardians, yeah, you know, you knew him from fucking The Office, 
and then you see this motherfucker with a 12 pack you're like what the what the fuck yeah you know he took the super suit jackman took the superhero thing to a level where now all these young cats are yep. like they're getting there yeah. i mean like fucking henry cavill and in, in in uh superman yeah like fuck you like you're like, is that CGI shit? Like, is it? Like, why don't I have a muscle could, there? Like, that doesn't like, belong in any. Yeah, is it a tumor? What's going Good on? Good lord! <laughs> Good lord! Um, one other, another actor that I, um, why am I blanking on his name right now? Uh, Neo Matrix. Uh, oh, Keanu. Uh, Keanu. Uh, have you seen his uh, like uh, test range where he goes to the gun range? Yes, loved it. Dude, so John Wick when he was yeah, when he was John Wick. Yep, and it's like the, 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 you think actors go in like the, the mindset of the average man. They think it's like the Matrix. They think you're going to get plugged in. <laughs> you're going to plug in? And you, got, you know it all. You're going to think nothing else just except what's being fed to you. Uh, I, it, he went through, like, he's a, a mercenary level of skill set to and do, to and do a role in two movies. But he started, like, let's be uh, he started that with, with Matrix. He, was, he started that on Point Break. Yeah. Like, the training's been there this whole time. But that, that's been a major th- theme in the, all these movies, is he will go out and live yeah. that life. Which, again, how, before I, the movie's even a thing. Who's got a better life than an actor? <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, you get, like, and I've, I've, I've never been blessed enough to this point to have a role where it's like, all right, Gustavo, you've got five months and you're going to be yeah. this guy. Yep. You know, I've, I've, I've only done things where it's it's one week guest star, whatever sure. it is. I can't fucking imagine, like, and, and I'm method. Yeah. Like, fuck, man. Like, <laughs> if I get so into the week, like, what's it going to be like when I'm I'm this guy for five months? Yeah. But that's the love of it for me is, yeah. like, fuck, I get to walk in different people's shoes. Yeah. You it's, know? It's... It, like you said before, it's a child's kind of... It is, man. Existence. It, it, it absolutely is. And I like I have a... a well, you have uh, to pay bills. <laughs> right. Yeah. Which is a tough part that a, a child never thinks of. And that's why it's... Acting to me is like uh, almost childlike in a certain kind of way because it's, it's having the ability to not believe in no. It's having an ability to believe in yes. Because yeah. as children, right, we, we believe anything. We believe we can fly. We believe... Yeah, you and I are playing cops and robbers. We're yep. playing, you know, X Men. Whatever, and we're there. Reality is dismissed. Yeah, well, or, or we build our own reality. Even better, you know, we yep. build our own reality. Yep. And as adults, like we get more and more no's. It's beaten. We're more us. and more conditioned. <laughs> right. It it literally is yeah. beaten out of us. Right. So we get to that point, and then we're not as creative. I, to me, like actors, to a certain degree, are very childlike. Yeah, they have a childlike quality, which maybe is why uh, there are no successful. It's a Peter or, Pan. Yeah, it's a Peter yeah. Pan. yeah, it is, and you need to like. But it's fine again. It goes back to finding that balance because, like, now you're a grown up, mm-hmm. so you can't just Peter Pan it. Nope, you gotta take care. You of You gotta your make life. money. You gotta you gotta pay rent. Yeah, you gotta pay a car. You gotta pay for uh, a wife. You gotta mm-hmm. pay for uh, a kid. You yeah. gotta pay. You know, like, because that's life. It happens whether you're ready for it or not. Right. And there it is. It, it, it's coming for you. Yep. So how do you prepare for it, you know? you gotta, you got to pick your battles. Yeah. It's, it's tough. Sometimes, hey, sacrifice, look, sometimes it's, the sacrifice is, is heavier for some people than it is for others. Look, I think for most of us in this business, the sacrifice is, for the most part, for the most time, it's going to be more sacrifice than, than reward. Yeah, for sure. Most people, I mean, come on, let's be honest. Most people in this town aren't going to make it. No Directors, writers, odds are not actors. In favor. You, the odds are not in your favor. No. This is Vegas. It's the, the odds, odds are in the in the house's favor. Yeah, all day long. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And you hope like the only things that we can control again are like your training. If you're an actor, uh, your training as a director, like knowing your craft. I also think that like I think you could be a, a half-assed, not half-assed, but not the best actor. But if your determination. Is strong enough. Well, we see that because that not well. all the best actors are the ones that are working, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, to me, the best uh, my one of my favorite actors, Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. How the fuck Machine. works at that guy's? <laughs> yeah, and and who works at that guy's level? Uh, not many. If any. If any. You yeah. know what I mean? But does that mean that someone like I, I dig it? Like some of his films, like Tom Cruise isn't. 
like a yeah. good actor. They're just different levels. Just it, and the thing too, it's one of those things that's like trying to peg art. Right. You can't, and Absolutely. You someone's can't. craft is like that right. guy for that thing. That's, that's great. One, that's yeah. why you don't like you don't cast you know Burt Reynolds to play uh, a, home, a homeless guy with a, with you know you know on the streets you know begging. Because everyone knows it's fucking Burt Reynolds. Yeah. You, know, you put Burt Reynolds in a, in, a, in a nice car with a hot chick, because that's just... Which I do think now is greater in that, that we sometimes do take more risk with actors. Yeah. Like, let's throw them in yeah. there. Oh, that's, the scene. that's definitely something that's not... With the independent film yeah. aspect of things, it's like... You can you, play around a little bit more. Yeah. You, 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 not so formulaic, a little bit looser, a little, the potentials are a little bit greater yeah. for crazy. Yeah, I love it. You want that crazy, man. We, we, we want to build it. We want to live it. We want to make it. Fuck yeah. Dude, I think we're good. Awesome. I have enjoyed... I, I, have, I always love talking to you. It's every it's time. It's been a pleasure, Every man. time. Every time. I, like I said, it's coming out of conversation with you. It's always... I'm like, I, I'll just be on the drive home. I'm like, I'm glad Goose was there, man. I had a good time with Goose. I love you, man. Yeah, that that means a too. lot to me and... and you know the whole process to me means a lot to me the 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 group of friends that we've been blessed with um, I believe that, that that we all have the fortitude the mindset to make a success out of this business yeah and and like I said in in, in the long run of things like I I want to uh, be able to be in a position where I can also uh, open doors for other people coming up. Yeah, that's a big thing. And and with projects that are not necessarily only dictated by money. Yep. Because I think one thing that you and I talk about, and one thing that we talk about our group is that we're very focused on on low cost, high production value. Mm-hmm. And I still Biggest think that's what matters. And I still think that's what matters. Yeah, man. I think that's that's well. It's the other thing too is when we story. No. Some stories can be told a little bit better with a little bit more money. Yeah. So yeah, I still think you can put too much money into something. Absolutely. And then you can literally... Robert Rodriguez said that with Desperado. Absolutely. It's one of those things you can't... You know, if you, the, the production value is great, but if you don't have the bare minimum, the story, the characters, and the people to make those things come to life... Not going to work. It doesn't matter how much money you have. No. So, yeah, I love... Our group of people, and I love that it, we can I can get you guys in, and we can talk about because there's things like I've known you for a while, and there's still stories that I've never heard you tell, <laughs> and sometimes you like this is a great venue for that, so it's cool for me. Um, you got to get us all in here one day. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be cool. It's tough, but it'd be it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, we'll have more people on. I've now done the entire cast. Yeah, uh, I've had Mike, LJ, Vinny, and Luke. I was the last one. Your last one. I have to do. I, well, I have to redo uh, uh, Vinny's. Yeah, because it was terrible. <laughs> the the this is like the first first one we did, uh, the podcast. It was it was bad. I was running off Learning terrible experience. equipment, and so I want to redo his. Um, but yeah, it's an LJ. God bless her. I was supposed to do um, Luke. He had to bail, so I. I, she came in last. She night. came literally an hour. She's like, I'm like, hey, what are you doing right now? Wow. <laughs> I think you were shooting something, and I think Mike was in Chicago. So I'm like, well, I could just skip it, I guess. But I've already have put it on in the. I'm like, quick redo. We're gonna have LJ on, and she came in. She was a fucking trooper. She's yeah. a rock star. I love Dude, LJ. Yeah, our, our crew is good. So yeah, we got a great cast, man. It's great, great cast, great crew. Yeah. The story, I, I owe you, know, you guys like, a lot, and I love and I, you the love, nothing, man. We've well, because we love. What it. I owe you is to make sure that what comes of this is the best thing I could put. Forward. Amen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, I from from my perspective, yeah, you're. I'm in it because I like the story. I believe in the the people around it. Yeah. And that that is enough for me to go all in. And you've definitely gone all in. And, you know, and it's been. I, I can't appreciate you guys more. I can't uh, wait to fully play. Like we, I don't even feel that we've gotten to oh, we where we've service. played. Yeah. You know, when we've talked about like shooting in the cabin, and mm-hmm. that's where I'm like, oh, dude, this is gonna get great because again, together and 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 of that that it's like the fertilizer all comes together yeah. and all the ingredients get melted. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And there's something magical about being on set. It's a special place. It really is. There's a lot of mystery happening all the same it's like it's like everyone just kind of hoping everything works out the way we think it's going to work out <laughs> you know what i mean there's a, it there's, has there's its own a fear you wake up with that little oh 
man, I hope this day is going to go the way we want yeah. it to and just get some well, yeah. like, because like, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. just go going. back to the <laughs> film it. Six months, a year. Yeah. But then you walk away. Mm-hmm. And you wait for the premiere. That's great. Alejandro's big That's crazy. So. And only because it's not a fucking full feature. Sure. It's virtual reality, and yeah. he, he, it was a, a medium that now people are trying out, using it with the story behind it. Funny how that worked. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll get it done. Fuck yeah. We'll make it happen. We will, brother. All right, man. I appreciate Holy you. Holy focus. Thank you for having me. Hey, we'll do it again. We ain't well, done Well, is it the 213? Oh, no, wait. Where are we? On 310? 323? <laughs> Love it. I don't know. Whatever. And the Prada, that's what it's called. The Prada Museum will be here in a couple of months. So do it. Look out for it. Yeah, buddy. All right. Rock and roll. Let's kill it. I love you. I love you. <laughs> right, guys, appreciate you. That's it. Good night, good night. Whoop, whoop. Babuska. Babuska. And what do I get? Are we going to get to... Oh, uh, please tell me this didn't lock up.